Okay, I'm back. Um, who knew I'd actually have live customers at my live demos. So whenever I, um, whenever I took a break, this all had a chance to dry. So I was just laying in some color and I'm gonna put in this cat's tail now. Meow meow tail. My daughter has renamed her, her cat that was named Howie. I think she's going to name him Meowy because he meows all the time. And this is kind of inspired by that. So I've got, sorry about uh, having to disappear like that, but um, whenever you've got customers, you want to sell them stuff. That's the reason I'm open today. So I'm going to continue on with the tail. Hopefully uh, he'll come back. All right, so I'm going to do a light yellow. And get that laid in there. I did go over the edges, which I'm not worried about at all because it's like making it all one scene. One scene. So I've got this going on. Now I'm going to add a little bit of orange to it for the cast shadow on the inside of the tail. Just like that. And, um, so we've got that going on. Now we've got a lot of things going on inside of this, this sheet. This is where all the activity is going. So I'm gonna to switch to my little cheap, cheap brush. Yep, and I'm gonna start putting in some blue and yellow to make green, just like that. Blue, yellow, make green. I'm gonna do that for these little fun leafy parts. I'm just going to loosely stick that in there. Very flowy, blurry, blendy. Tap, tap, tap. All the way down. So I'm putting in that first row that I hand drew in. And um, so then I'm going to um, just kind of make up some swirly patterns that aren't necessarily anything more than swirly patterns. They're just so that you got some kind of texture going on. And I'm gonna do a little yellow swirly pattern. And that'll help it lay down, still be blurry because in the photo that I'm working from this part is actually clear but the closer you get to the blanket where the cat is peeking through the more blurry and bunched up it gets and you can't due to the perspective you can't really see so um put some bright yellows in there just kind of I've got the Madeline feel have you ever watched Madeline the uh, movie, cartoon, I'm getting that kind of French Madeline feel for this particular painting. So um, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the bigger brush and I'm gonna lay in some water over here on the Table. So I'm going to adjust a little bit and get, we're going to work on the table now. So come right over here and get that all centered up. So we've got the table and it's got uh, water on it. And I'm going to just lay in a loose, loose, this is a very loose painting. The, the harsh lines of it, I'm just kind of, kind of ignoring the lines. I'm just putting in the color and letting it flow all over the place. And the lines are so harsh that they'll carry the picture. I won't have to worry too much about getting it perfect. Now, there's some cast shadows. I have this being at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's, that's when this cat has decided to rampage. So that's what I'm going for is the three o'clock in the morning look of a room. 
Now this, the uh, wall, even though it's um, a white wall, it's cast in a blue. So I'm going to put in the blue. First, you gotta give it a little tap of water so that the you have control of where it goes. So I'm just adding adding a lot of water to the seam, just like that. Now I'm gonna get my blue, and it has a little bit of yellow in there, but that's okay. There's a little bit of cast of of uh, yellow, and so there'll be a shadow that comes off of this bookcase bed head head pad headboard. That's what it is, headboard. So I, I'm I'm just gonna put this headboard in the shadow just like that. Just tap that in. All right, and I'm gonna even go right over top of that. And bring that brown in a little bit because that'll add to the shadow so I've got that going now I want to take and wipe off my brush so that there's just like barely a little bit of color so it's got a little bit of blue and I'm going to just run that blue across and around the areas where there's more light. So if you see this image, let's see what I'm talking about. Okay, see how that looks blue? I mean, the wall's probably white, but it looks blue because of all of the um, shadows. Now there's shadows that go underneath the paintings to get them to sit down. So I'm gonna come back in and with a little bit darker blue, put that darker blue right underneath the paintings because that's a cast shadow and over to this side because that's where the shadow's cast. And then let it just fade off and run down and be lighter everywhere else. I'm gonna slow down a little bit and get around these crystals because I don't want the crystals to be blue. I think I want them to be more white. Okay. So then we've got the carpet, which in the photo is just invisible. So I'm going to take a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, a little bit of orange. I'm going to make a muddy color. This is just going to be a yucky, muddy color. You know why? Because it's in the shadow and we can't see it. So we don't know what color it is. It's in the background. It's unimportant. It's not part of the scene. It just happens to be a space. So this we need the space in order to get this to pop out. So we want to take and make this grungy little dark corner where three o'clock in the morning cats hide. Three o'clock in the morning, cats. So it's just cast in shadow, gets darker under the table, where all the all the cats hide. That's where they keep all their toys. And then over here is cast shadow from the bed. So this is all shadow. Now we can use the same dark color to pull in some shadowing on this now dry piece of furniture, okay? So you just drop that in right there on that drawer. And underneath this ledge, because that's going to be in shadow, because this is cast on a shadow right on that, so we want that to be also in shadow. So that's shadow, this is shadow, that's a ledge, so that's in shadow, and this is in shadow. Because the light's coming, it's going to be on top here. We might even turn the light on in this little lamp at 3 o'clock in the morning because, you know, 
something went bump in the night. It just happened to be a cat. So now we've got this lamp, which I'm going to make like an amberine. Amberine is a type of color of glass. It's, uh, it's like a brown red and it's dark and it's very 70s. If you think amberina, you think 70s. Okay, so I'm going to make a red brown out of this dark that I made. So I'm going to just add more red to it, just like that, and pull that color in. A little bit of orange too, just like that. Make it, make it warm. And I'm going to outline it. Slow it down. Breathe. Relax. I'm just going to outline that. Just like that. Okay, so it's outlined. And now I'm going to wipe my brush and get water and pull that in. Like that. Kind of leave a little bit of white showing because that's its reflective quality. And the lampshade has some kind of weird funky pattern on it. So I'm going to make a weird funky pattern just like that. And I'm going to add some brighter reds over here because that's where the light is. And then some darker browns over here like that. I'm going to spray that out like that. Put in a line. All right, so now I have room for the light to come through. So we're going to turn on this light, and it's going to be uh, the best light. It's going to be a light like, you know, that warm light that you say, I want that special bulb that makes it like daylight. It's going to be that kind of light. So I'm going to get some yellow, yellow orange, because everybody knows that the sun is yellow orange. And, and that's daylight, right? Right. So I'm getting the yellow and the orange. And I'm going to make a soft glow right over top of this. Just bring in that light. And then the crystals themselves, come on in. Uh, that's gift wrapping down there. If you have any uh, presents you, you want to buy here, you can have them gift wrap it for a nominal fee. A nominal fee. <laughs> nominal fee. I know a few big words. How long have you guys been here? Uh, we're going on four years now. Okay. We have had lots of different issues while we've been open and closed, but we've always still been here. Um, we were especially good at Art Walk. Especially, because we would always have wine. That's always <laughs> <laughs> good. There's so much art back there. It'll take you a minute. So I'm just coloring these books different colors. Just like that. We're just about done. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to the tail. Over here. A little yellow to the other side. And this is my Madeline cat painting. I'm going to make the crystals blue, though. I do want to go back and make the crystals blue. Just a little bit of shiny reflection. All right. Thank you all for watching.